Greetings to you, my dear brothers and sisters. I have a word of encouragement and direction for you. My brothers and sisters, it is always good when I release these amazing words. So if you are new to this platform and you are watching me for the very first time, or you have been watching me and you have not yet subscribed, I kindly request you to subscribe and turn on all the notifications so that you may receive videos. My brothers and sisters, also, if you want to get in touch with me, if you want to speak to me, you can do so through my WhatsApp number, which is in the About section, only in the About section. Also, you can find my other um, media platforms where you can uh, get in touch with me, social media platforms. There's my email address in the About section. My brothers and sisters, today's word is they are gossiping about you. That is right. You are the topic of discussion. Some of you, you can even feel it. You even know actually what I'm talking about. This is just a confirmation. People are gossiping about you at your workplace. People are gossiping about you at, in your neighborhood. It seems like they don't have uh, things to do. Actually, people who gossip, usually don't have any, a lot of things to do. Because if they had important things to do, they wouldn't have gossiped about you. They wouldn't. And one of the reasons that's why people gossip about you is because they want to frustrate you. They want to frustrate you. They want to be like you, but they can never be like you. So what do they do? They gossip. They see something in you that they admire. But instead of admiring in a good way, they uh, have hatred towards you. There are people around you who hate you without a cause. Without a cause. What am I trying to say? Is that nothing wrong you did to them. Some of them hate your success. Some of you don't know that you're successful. Just because you don't have enough finances doesn't mean that you're not successful. Success is not really measured in money. Success is not really measured in monetary terms. You may see people who have a lot of money, millionaires and billionaires, but they're not successful. That is not success. Of course, to the world, that is success because this is the world. The world that is success. But in the eyes of God, success is not really measured with, in terms of money. It is first in the spiritual before it comes in the physical. So there are a lot of people who call themselves successful. In the eyes of God, they are failures. Why? They don't walk according to the will of God. They have not yet won the battles that they are facing. The spiritual battles. But as for you, my brothers and sisters, some of you have slayed giants. Some of you are still even slaying giants without you knowing. Of course, some of you know you get um, attacks at night. Some of you get heavy attacks not even just at night even during the day you can sense it today you face this problem tomorrow you get this problem it seems like you have a huge heap of problems but i want to encourage you today that no matter what you are going through god is going to lift you up above that standard bible says that when the enemy rises up when the enemy shall come up as a flood the Spirit of God will rise up a standard against him. Some of you, the enemies, has come up against you in, in lies. Gossip. People have said what is not even right. Do you know in gossip, most of the, most of the times, when people are gossiping, it's all it's lies, it's deception? Because if it was the truth, they would have said it in front of you. But they choose to use other ways and gossip about you. But don't you worry about the gossip. Even Jesus, people gossiped about him. Mm. The Pharisees and teachers of the law, and those some of them were moved with him, they gossiped. Because they wanted to reach at his level, but they could not reach. They wanted to attain the power that he has, but they could not attain it. Some of them said, what manner of man is this? They were so amazed at the things that Jesus used to do. The miracles that Jesus performed, they were unheard of. The signs and wonders that Jesus made, it was unheard of. Imagine a man walking on water. 
Imagine you literally seeing a man walking. How many, how many times have you seen a man walking on water? Some of you have just heard it in stories that Jesus walked on water. But have you seen someone walk on water? If today you woke up and you saw someone walking on water, some of you would start saying it's an alien. And yet Jesus did so. I'm not saying that you should go out and start looking for people walking on water, or you should go out and start walking on water. No. But I'm trying to show you that if you were in Jesus' era, there are some things that you would see as uh, out of this world. You would know that this one indeed, though he lives in this world, he's not of this world. Also, you, my brothers and sisters, though you live in this world, you are not of this world. You are not of this world. That's why the people of the world cannot understand you. They gossip about you because they say something strange in you. I'm speaking to someone right now. They say something strange in you. They see something unique in you that they don't have. They see a pattern that you are following that they don't have. That's why you see the Bible says, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. You have to renew your mind every day because there are a lot of things. These gossips that are coming up against, these gossips that you keep on hearing, if you fall and start uh, paying close attention to them, it will drain you. It will get you. It will start consuming you. These lies that you, you keep on hearing about you, if you give them attention, it will get you into a trap. That's why you see you should conf not conform. You should not conform to the pattern of this world because the pattern of this world involves gossip. The pattern of this world is built on lies, deception, because their father is, 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 the, is, a, is a, a father of deception. That's the devil. The pattern of this world is, is built on a stealing. Because the enemy, the thief, the devil comes uh, to steal, kill, and destroy. The pattern of this world is built on witchcraft. The pattern of this world is built on um, hatred. That's why I say the Bible says do not conform. When someone hates you, don't hate them. When someone gossips at you, don't gossip them, uh, at them back. When someone does something wrong, forgive, forget, and move on. My brothers and sisters, I hope this word has really blessed you. I hope it has encouraged you. Remember, if you want to be a blessing to this ministry through your giving, you can do so through my PayPal account. My PayPal is in the About section of this channel. If you have other ways which you can give, just let me know in my WhatsApp number or my email address and I will respond to you. Until next time, Shalom.